Well, women are stupid because they're inferior to men. That when she and a group of contestants who were menstruating during the event had asked the production staff about getting their underwear more quickly, she had been told that it was not a medical emergency. You'll never actually respect a woman, but just act like you respect them. Oh my God. Mr. Beast withheld my birth control. I have ovarian cysts. You can't just stop taking birth control. I don't, I don't really get along with women. The Mr. Beast drama never ends. This time, Dogpack404 has made yet another video with allegations of scams and SA accusations and Mr. Beast hiring really, really terrible people and also allegations of how Mr. Beast views women. These are just allegations at this point, so keep that in mind. Uh, after I called out James Warren by name in my last video, his uh, Instagram and Facebook got taken down and his LinkedIn got taken down. Uh, so just a quick profile on James Warren. Uh, he's, he's Jimmy's cousin and, and secret CEO. And I say secret because, you know, they're, they're not very open about that fact. Like he, he doesn't post about it on social media. It wasn't ever attached to his LinkedIn. He's never featured or, or really referenced anywhere. I heard that he's very aggressive. I've, I, I've heard him referred to as a psychopath who screams at people and hits his, his uh, girlfriends. Uh, there's allegedly domestic violence charges that were filed against him. Um, and I say allegedly because it turns out there's a lot of people in North Carolina named James Warren who, who assault their girlfriends, I guess. So uh, Warren also allegedly an ex-drug addict. Uh, I've heard that he, he offered cocaine and to editors to stay late. So yeah, Dogpack is talking about James Warren, who was involved in a huge Ponzi scheme where him and his business partner basically scammed old ladies and testimony came out in court that they basically scammed this old lady who had cancer out of $1.5 million and she alleged that they knew of the scam and still encouraged her to invest anyway so that's really terrible stuff but unfortunately people do horrible stuff like that and of course it's alleged that mr beast knew about this the whole time when he hired james warren uh, but by 2017 la Coya hill was running an adult entertainment event business in san francisco called la Coya hill entertainment uh, then in 2019 he was hired to mr beast as a producer <laughs> Our party evolved into this place where you know you have the drag queens, the muscle daddies, the bears, the twinks, the like posh boys. Now I'm all for personal freedoms. I believe adults should be able to do whatever they want. However, I question what uh, qualified the sort of go-go dance drag daddy of San Francisco for a job producing YouTube content for children. But you know, it'd also be weird if, if Mr. Beast hired uh, Johnny Sins as the janitor, I guess. Uh, it's not the real issue though. The issue is that in late 2021, he was allegedly fired for sexually assaulting his assistant. So it gets worse. It seems like Mr. Beast has been hiring really bad people, like really awful people. So this guy, LaCoya Hill was hired as COO and he worked in the adult industry. I just don't get it. There seems to be a pattern at Mr. Beast of hiring people who should not be working around children should not be working at a company that has a large audience of children, right? I mean, it's common sense, but Mr. Beast doesn't seem to have that common sense. So LaCoya was fired for essaying his assistant, but in classic Catholic church style, <laughs> Mr. Beast just moved him somewhere else to the dubbing company instead of firing him, which he really should have done. Fired in quotation marks because he was actually quietly moved to the dubbing company, which was Unilingo at the time. Here is uh, proof that he used the LaCoya at Unilingo.tv email, links back to him, links to these photos, one of which was the profile picture for his YouTube channel. So Dogpack showed screenshots of employees talking about all this, so it seemed to be an open secret. And a lot of employees had also heard about LaCoya Hill, like doing crazy stuff, like harassing employees, making them uncomfortable, booking hotel rooms with only one bed, and showing people his toy collection. No, not that type of toy collection. A much much naughtier type of toy collection. And it's alleged that Mr. Beast eventually brought LaCoya back, even though he knew about all of these allegations. So LaCoya seems to still be at the company, even despite all the allegations. He just privated his Twitter and LinkedIn, but he's still there. I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand 
Mr. Beast has this thing about keeping terrible people around, people who have bad histories with children that shouldn't be around children. I just don't get it, guys. Hey buddy, it's James. Um, sorry to be bothering you. I've done my absolute best not to bother you. Um, but uh, LaCoya had uh, presented a bunch of stuff to me and Jimmy a little bit ago. All really great stuff. Um, but he had asked me and Jimmy personally, he's like, hey, you know, can I have a, a $28,000 bonus for work I did in the past? And I'm like, yeah, of course, man. Um, and the reason for that is, is uh, I had brought him up to my level and I don't take bonuses. So for like two years, he didn't get any bonuses when our guys were getting like crazy percentage bonuses. Um, I need a favor. Um, Sue cannot process this bonus through Beast. Um, I need a solid. Can you please process a 28k bonus for LaCoya? Let me know. Bye. So yeah, it seems they even gave him a 28 grand bonus, which is insane. Balance. Now, here's another testimony. This person will go on the record. This is Jess, uh, who accused Ava Chris Tyson of, of sexual assault. I think her case has been sort of mostly ignored because she probably wasn't, she wasn't a minor when it happened, but she was a Mr. Beast employee. And you can see in her evidence and her communications with the company, this, the clear signs of a cover up. I can see them like threatening her with legal, legal action and emails and, and saying like, oh, we're gonna have a law firm investigate this. Well, they had one firm do an internal investigation, McGuire Woods LLP, the same law firm that sent me my first cease and desist. Uh, but then they hired, a, I guess, Harvey Weinstein's legal team, allegedly to re-review everything. Uh, so I guess they weren't happy with the results of the first internal investigation, uh, allegedly to internally investigate LaCoya Hill's sexual misconduct. So uh, why don't you make that report public, Jimmy? So Dogpack talks about how female employees had told him that they were told not to be alone in a room with particular people in powerful positions, which is really, really scary stuff. You should feel safe at work, be able to speak to higher ups with no fear, but apparently that, that is not how it works at Mr. Beast. It's like some sort of nightmare workplace. And they were also asked really uncomfortable questions where some were literally asked what they would do if they were assaulted by Mr. Beast himself. And the crazy thing is, it seems like people were discouraged from bringing up issues to HR because HR was run by Mr. Beast's mum and she'd keep it all swept under the rug apparently. How awful is that? I mean, you can't be fair to employees when the boss's mother is running HR. It's just really unprofessional stuff. The company does not seem like it's run appropriately. Dogpack also talked about how there were a lot of efforts to cover stuff up, like one of Ava Chris Tyson's accusers who was threatened with legal action by Mr. Beast. I don't know. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments and subscribe if you liked the video.